What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fan stand up. And yo, today I want to talk about one of my favorite undrafted free agents that the Dallas Cowboys acquired, and that's Hunter Lubke, fullback. But I don't want you guys to think of him as a fullback, and you'll see why as we go to the film out of North Dakota State. He's six foot, 230 pounds, ran a four six, had a decent senior bowl. But when you watch the film on this guy, you will understand don't just coin him as a fullback. He is pretty much a utility guy that can do a lot of things. Let's go ahead and get into the film. So as of right now, as you clearly see, right, there ain't no fullback, right? That is Hunter lined up in the single back formation. And the one thing that I like about Hunter, he's always getting pushed. Now, he's not extremely explosive, right? He's not going to run away from you. But we lost Ezekiel Elliott. We have Tony Pollard. We have Deuce Vaughn, who we're all excited about. But we need someone that's going to be able to run between the tackles and get those dirty, nasty, grimy yards. And Hunter is definitely that guy that's going to be able to step in this Cowboys offense and do that. Boom. Beats always moving. Low center of gravity. Great power. Always getting good drive. I definitely like that about him. So when it's when it's third and one, right? Third and two. And we need those, you know, we, we used to have a guy in Ezekiel Elliott that we can pretty much count on to get those yards, right? But he's gone as of now. Um, but I feel like Hunter is going to be the guy that's going to get the opportunity to get those dirty yards. Like I said, don't just coin him as a fullback. He can do a lot of different things. So right now you'll see him in motion. He'll come across and he'll play a little inline tight end. And he's going to come on the crossing route. Now the ball doesn't go to him, but it shows some of the versatility. And I believe this is what really excited the Cowboys and, and scouts and also Mike McCarthy when you watch Hunter's film because you can do a lot of things with him and definitely get creative. So I know a lot of people were messing me on Twitter like, yo, Tuck, why do we get a fullback? Uh, 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 uh. He's not just a fullback. You can do a lot of things with him in this Cowboys offense, especially if you're trying to get back to the whole power game, which it looks like Mike McCarthy is trying to do. Now, in his college career, I mean, last year, I think he had like 14 receptions for 196 yards. So you're not going to be just tossing the ball to him crazy. But you'll see here, like, he, he, if you give him an opportunity, he can definitely make things happen. On this next play here, even though the ball doesn't come his way, he's lined up in trips as a wide receiver. He's flexed out. So that versatility. Mike McCarthy in his press conferences are always talking about versatility. And Hunter definitely gives you that. It's a simple little out route, so nothing nothing too fancy, right? But it just shows the versatility of what you can do with him in the offense. Now, some people say, yo, Tuck, isn't this what we drafted Luke to do? Yeah, but, I mean, sometimes you want more versatility. The more versatility is never going to be a bad thing. So if you have two guys out in the field that can do a lot of different things, it's only going to help your offense. And I feel like Hunter Luke he's definitely going to get that opportunity with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, this play, this is where the money resides, where the money resides. So here he is. He's a fullback. Boom. Right? A lot of people saying, Tuck, why don't we go get a fullback? Mike McCarthy only goes 11 personnel and 10 personnel. He's not even going to play that much. He's not going to get that much opportunity. Watch this play, and I'll show you the attractiveness when it comes to Hunter Luki. Lined up as a lead blocker, but he ain't blocking. Play action, he's out. Right? So, boom. You can do a lot of things because, like I said, you know, and I was joking on Twitter, but I was really serious. Like, the Cowboys used to run that Hulk formation where this was pretty much like an old guard. Like it was like Conor McGovern or they put Terrence Steele back. There's no passing threat when you have that caliber of player. Ain't nobody worried about Conor McGovern getting going deep and, and catching a pass, right? And killing Moore's offense. So now that Kellen is gone, if you're able to go to this power formation, but you have a fullback slash running back, who can catch and make things happen and you get the ball in his hands and he has good yak ability, like I said, because he was averaging about 6.5 yards per carry, you know, at, at, at uh, North Dakota State. So, you know, if you get the ball in his hands, he doesn't go down easy, y'all. So I feel like that's going to be the attractiveness, especially in the West Coast offense where it's quick throws, get the ball in his hands and let him go use his God-given ability. But you see there, he can get loose. Connor McGovern couldn't do that. Now, when it comes to pass protection, right? So we have Tony Pollard once again and Deuce Vaughn, who is really going to be the guy that's going to be protecting Dak back there because we talked about the offensive line 
and these tight ends, right? But sometimes you're going to have these free blitz and safeties. Who's going to be back there to really pick it up if Zeke is gone, right? And you see he does a good job of picking up that backside safety blitz and moving them out the way and buying time for the quarterback to throw an interception but, or throw an incompletion, right? But, but still, he's a high IQ guy. So like I said, he can do a lot of different things and really be utilized. So if you had to place money on an undrafted free agent, that's going to get a lot of opportunity with the Dallas Cowboys. Hunter Lukey is definitely that guy I would place all my chips on because I just don't see him being a player that could be cut or waived or, you know, kind of stashed. I think Mike McCarthy really has a plan for this kid, and rightfully so. When they put a little extra money in the bag, I think they gave him a little extra 200000 to sign with Dallas, man. So they definitely got, they definitely have their eyes on this kid right now. Now you can see him lined up in the backfield. They're going to shift and go into a wildcat. He's going to take a direct snap. But once again, boom, push, get those dirty yards. So these are the types of things, right? Because the Cowboys Achilles heel has always been in the goal line. This is where you can get dirty and grimy, have some trickery, some creativity with your offense, and get those extra two to three to four yards. I feel like this kid is going to be a fan favorite amongst Cowboys fans soon. Right, I feel like once they really get a glimpse on him in preseason, also camp, a lot of people are going to be raving about this prospect. All right, so right here, you see him once again. This is a two back formation, so he's actually the running back and he has a lead blocker as well. So, like I said, he's not just the fullback, but once again, in the trenches, getting pushed 30 yards, he's always falling forward. So he had 628 rushing yards last year, nine touchdowns. So like I said, he's not just a fullback. If you guys see that on social media, just say, nah, nah, bro. We watched the film. We, we saw Tuck's breakdown. He ain't just a fullback. So cut that out, right? But he's always falling forward. Like I said, this is going to be the attraction with him to get those tough, gritty yards, right? He's not going to be explosive, right? He ain't going to run away from nobody, but you need that trenches in that push and he definitely provides that once again just showing the push falling forward falling forward moving the pile moving the pile push feet stay moving feet stay moving i love it i love it so you combine that with the offensive line you know we got luke shoemaker you got jake ferguson you know if the cowboys really want to go powered you know, because Tony Pollard, you can't run Tony Pollard on the ground. You know, Deuce Vaughn, even though he can run in between the tackles, you know, this is not really their strong point. It's not what they really do, right? So you need a guy that can kind of come in and, and move the ground a little bit. And Hunter is definitely that guy. Feet moving, feet moving, low center of gravity. Now, like I said, he's not the most explosive player on the perimeter, right? But the one thing when you watch him, he doesn't go down easy. So here he is running off tackle. His little little garbage right there below, right? This linebacker came down like a bat out of hell and knocked out that pulling. That's a good job from that linebacker. This linebacker right here came down, dirtied that up, right? Hunter does a good job keeping his balance and still making a play to get upfield. So like I said, he's not going to burn you on the edges, but like I said, if you get him pretty much matched up versus a corner or maybe some of these smaller safeties, he's going to put his head down and he's going to get those tough, dirty yards, which I definitely like. It's, it's grimy, it's dirty. This is blue collar football right here when it comes to Hunter Luki. Boom. And the last play here, just showing him the perimeter again off tackle. Once again, getting off tackle, getting upfield, keeping his feet moving, getting those dirty yards. Because right here, he's pretty much stopped, right? But he doesn't give up. Like I said, his feet stays, stays moving, and he picks up those extra yards. Because he's always leaning forward, always falling forward. Those extra two to three yards, they always help. Like right here, he's pretty much engaged, right? Keeps moving, keeps moving, keeps his feet driving, and his damn near first down. But there was some laundry on the field, right? So that is what I love about this prospect. And salute, uh, salute to my guy, BJ Nix from Pick 6 Sports. Like, this is one of his favorite prospects, and we're talking about it all draft. You know, if he did the mock drafts on PFF, he was always sitting there in the seventh. 
You know, the Cowboys didn't draft him, even though I probably would, so I didn't have to compete. But it sounds like the Cowboys were able to give him incentive to sign with Dallas, and I'm excited that we have. So that's him. That's Hunter Luke Key, running back. I don't even want to say running back. I would say weapon out of the University of North Dakota State. Undrafted guy, but I feel like he's going to be able to step in and really help this Dallas Cowboys offense, man. So it's your boy, Jay Tuck. Follow me on all social media platforms at jtuck151. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that share button so a lot of Cowboys fans can get exposure to these prospects that we brought in. I'm excited from the upcoming season. So turn on that notification bell so you guys do not miss out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and the power run game is back with Hunter, baby. Let's get it. Peace.